time for Second Chance Romance, where we go looking for love in all the wrong places. First up is uh, Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi. How are you Hi. doing? <laughs> Thanks for your help. I'm good. I'm oh, excited good. to see what happens. So are we. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the you know the very least, our promise is always we can at least uh, help you out, and at the very least, get you get you answers. So let's do this. Awesome. Uh, tell us your story, if you will, Emma. Um, okay, so I went on a date with Christian. Uh, we met on Match, the the app, and um, we messaged right away. Um, we actually planned an Olive Garden lunch date, and I've been uh, totally joking with my friends that we had endless soup, salad, breadsticks, and conversation. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is just charming and funny, and if I'm going to be honest, hot. He's what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that last word. He's hot. Hot. He's oh. hot. He's hot. <laughs> we just had, I mean, we just had a really, really nice time. And I don't know if you, I, I don't know how many people are on this show, but it's not. I mean, super common that you're just like, oh wow, this is going so well. You know what I mean? Like, because I date a lot, and it's just like, whoa. Uh-huh. <laughs> you gotta weed through uh, it. Uh, uh, listen to Emma. Yeah. My right? Husband, yeah. Emma, Emma, my call my husband calls folks like you uh actively single. I love that term. Actively single. Yeah. I love that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You can yeah. Find your person. No, that's no, but that is actually true. I am um trying to find my person. Yeah. And um I'm you know, I'm just really confused as to what the radio silences. Well, yeah, he's ghosting you now. Did can you think of anything during your Olive Garden excursion that might have? That well, might have been I weird? mean, like, um, I have been, you know, thinking about it a lot, and like, as I just, as we just started talking about, like, maybe I scared him because I am on every dating app, and I, I go in on a lot of first dates and. And, you know, it's because I'm, like, uh, looking for my person, but it's also, like, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't want to go on a second date with someone who's, like, oh, we have so much in common, but we have absolutely no chemistry. Or, like, mm-hmm. you know, like, you know, he's hot, but, wow, he is not the brightest rock in the box. You know what I mean? So I'm just, yeah. like. Looking for that, my person, that sweet spot that you're, um, uh, anyway, so he ended a long-term relationship at the end of the year and he's just now getting back into the dating world and maybe I scared him and, you know, part of his charm was this like vulnerability, vulnerability that a lot of guys are just kind of, and frankly, a lot of women, they're just sort of like over it and they're like Ugh, you know yeah and um but i just was like teasing him that it's like oh he's fresh meat and you know all the ladies are probably messaging him and he didn't like confirm that confirm that but it has to be true mm. i mean he is a catch so he Did- maybe he's just going on a million dates and he forgot about me <laughs> well well you're I wouldn't say that you're you're already unforgettable to us, my friend. So yes. we, we, we enjoy oh, you. Oh, yeah. thank um, you. Did you get did you get a vibe? I I always want to check, mm-hmm. and I I know when 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 Holly was uh, talking to you about this, I know she asked. Did you get any sense that you were in a friendship rock garden? <laughs> you know what I mean? That you were, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, at the end of the day, he, we hugged and it was like a lingering hug. It was not like, I'm like, okay, goodbye. You know? Yeah. It was a lingering hug, which was very nice. (laughs) And he gave me a kiss on the cheek. I mean, it was lunch. So it wasn't like, you know, um, I like to keep my dates PG 13, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Um, as a first date, um, and so, like, he gave me a kiss on the cheek. And so there was 
definitely chemistry and okay. no friend zone. Um, Good. Yeah, I I mean that was my side of it. Yeah. <laughs> and um all of your I, rocks in your collection were touching. Yes. <laughs> um, but I've messaged him like three times and you know, I still had a great time and I wanted to set up another date and um and I actually one of the the three texts was just sent sending him an article that reminded uh, me of something that we talked about on the date. So I was like, I love a good theme date. And so I was like, oh, wow, there's, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know, there was something there. Yeah. And I, and I kind of slowed down my, my app scrolling. And so I just want to know, like, I, you know, you I know either I, way. Yeah. yeah. Because we're adults. Like I yeah. don't have any problem with someone saying like, Hey, you're awesome. I don't feel it. For someone you know, else. Like you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, it's just like you just met the person. How hard, hurt could I be? You know, exactly. it's like well, it's yeah. a decent thing. It's a decent thing to do and just say, you know, and I, I've become friends with occasionally with mm-hmm. people who I'm like, hey, you're not for me, but you are hysterical. We should become, we should st- stay friends. And, you know, I have a li- at least two guy friends. And one of them is marrying mm-hmm. my girlfriend, but that's a different story. Yeah, but you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, it's yeah. like, you know, it doesn't yeah. have to be like, yeah, you're not for me, it. but you're still, a, okay. Thanks. Yeah, you can yeah. move oh, on. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm just yeah. excited. <laughs> oh, I know. No, no, no. I'm just saying, I we get it. Yeah. Well, we're going to, Emma, my friend, we're going to get you an answer regardless. And it sounds like you are level-headed about this. You know, that's, you know, we can only. You can go either way here. Yeah. Yeah, I can go either <laughs> we're way. We're here to help. That's right. So we're going to turn over every rock we can and get you an answer. So hold on a minute. We're going to put you on hold. Dude is on hold, Emma. He thinks that he's been nominated to be on a radio segment by a friend or family. He doesn't know that it's about him. He certainly doesn't know it's about you. He's heard nothing. So hold on a minute. Okay. um, Leah put (laughs) Emma on hold. And now let's talk to Christian. Okay. Christian. Hello. How you doing? I'm great. How are you guys? Good. Hey, Thank you for morning. doing this. You're live. You're live on the air. This is Jason and Alexis in the morning. Thank you for agreeing to do this. You've been nominated by uh, by someone in your life to do this. So we always appreciate uh, people being willing to because we know it's a busy time of day. We um, we call this second chance romance, Christian, because here's where I'm going to level with you. You were nominated for a specific reason. Uh, okay. We, yeah. This is a segment all about reuniting people who have gone on a date. So somebody wants to reunite with you. It's no accident that you're on the show. How are you feeling are, right now? You're making me a little nervous. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I feel like this could go either way. Uh, <laughs> I've been nervous since the Bush administration of uh, doing this. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's, we have been so, doing this a long time. Right? Yeah, I think it was uh, second Oof. Bush that was in office when we started this. Okay, uh, so Christian here, we're going to level with you. Oh. Do you? Um, somebody wrote us a letter about you or an email, and it was very sweet. So here, let me make you a little more comfortable. It wasn't bad, obviously, because they want to reunite with you. Do you remember Emma? Y- yeah, I remember Emma. She's awesome. Okay, see, now you're feeling better, okay. and so are we. Yeah, we... Um, well, Emma emailed us about you, said you guys went out, you had a good time, you got some breadsticks, you got some mastacholi, um, and, but there wasn't anything after that. So she got the impression that that was it. So can I ask, was there a reason why you didn't connect again? She thinks I'm ghosting her. I mean, we we just went out like a, a week and a half ago. I mean... So I, I've been really swamped at work, and I, I, I've been out of dating for a little while, and I, I guess, I, aren't you supposed to wait some time before, like, messaging back? I don't, I don't want to seem desperate. I mean, I'm, I'm planning on getting back to her. Like I said, she's awesome. Oh, I, uh, well, that oh. makes sense. Well, we can help you, because guess what, Christian? <laughs> Emma's on What's the other that? line. No way. And she's heard everything. Emma... Say hi to Christian. Hi, Christian. <laughs> hey, Emma. 
<laughs> this is fun. Uh, hey, look, I'm really sorry I haven't met you back. Oh, oh! I'm sorry. I'm 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 glad that you remember me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, like I said, I've been so busy with work, and I I just I just didn't want you to feel like I was being desperate. But I I was planning like I've had a draft text message since the day after we met. But I just oh, shut your face. didn't want to come <laughs> off knew, as like. I knew we had a connection. <laughs> and I was just worried you were getting matched and messaged by like a million women and you just moved on and. Oh. Like. No. No. I mean, if anything, like, I, I ver- very rarely do I get a chance to go out on a date that I enjoy. So when I do, it's amazing. And <laughs> I mean, I, I had some concern about like our age gap. But I mean, other than that, I, I like well, I said, I just didn't want to be desperate. Um, I do love older men. Like we match for a reason, and I've dated guys like way older than you. <laughs> 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 okay. I mean, I'm just being honest. All I'm right, just Emma. Being honest. Oh, I'm just being honest. Men need a little bit more time to mature. They're like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm. I'm definitely a gouda. Um, okay, guys, let's, uh, let me do this. Oh, um, yes, this is going to be good. Jace, go. Guys, we're going to make this easy. Christian, Emma, we have gift cards to some great local restaurants. <gasps> it, 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 we want to pay for your second outing. Is it a yes from you, Christian? <gasps> yeah, yeah, I'm in. And then obviously, uh, Emma, oh. you're a yes, right? I'm a yes. There we go. We did it. <gasps> Guys. This rarely happens. <laughs> this oh, rarely, thank yeah. You. The thank very you so much. rare rock. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Well, you guys Emma, had the most fun. Yeah. Christian, hold on. Leah's going to get your info. We'll get that gift card out to you. Thanks to both of you. Thanks, guys. Thank I appreciate you. it. Hey. Thank that was you. So fun. Yeah. yeah please that keep actually... us updated. Invite us to the wedding. Oh, yeah. I mean. Okay, Lex. Ah! I mean, Bye, I'm guys. Sorry. Bye. Leah, we can go ahead and uh, before Alexis <laughs> talks about babies and things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Jason's a fine name, Leah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> for for dogs or kids? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Well. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, look, we got to take our victories here. Oh. This does not happen. Never. I'm right, maybe a few times. <laughs> That's the first one yeah. that I'm fine of love. Never. Yeah. Produced for you guys that it worked out. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Although oh. I do enjoy a good train wreck, so you know I'm not complaining when I go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, the cringe is real. We've had a lot of those. Ooh. Second chance romance Thursdays, the top of the third hour, right here on Jason and Alexis in the morning. I think there, let's hope for those two. I can well, hear the, was, the crispy, you know, the tension in good way. Don't you think? Emma was killing me, girl. Oh, I was she's loving her. Fun. She was just. 